You went out to California to make the pitch for tax cuts. You met with the Bonson Group, a wealth management group. Here's what the CEO had to say in the National Review. The deep challenge in getting tax reform done is that the government spends too much money and no one, including the president, wants to tackle that. What's your response? Well, that's not an issue we're focused on right now, but we are focused on regulation. We are focused on kind of the two for one, getting rid of two regulations for any one. And the president has an executive order that has us looking at efficiencies across the administration. Here's the worry about not being focused on the debt and deficit is that A, Republicans have been for a long time, so it's curious why they wouldn't be as focused on it in this context, and B, is that if the debt and deficit aren't addressed, the growth that, the growth that you hope will happen won't happen because of the drag on the economy. Well, the president is concerned about the debt. We've gone from 10 trillion to 20 trillion under the last administration. That's concerning. But our number one focus right now is on growth. If we can create 3% or higher sustained economic growth, that's over two and a half trillion dollars of additional revenue to the government, 10 trillion of additional revenue to the economy. And that's what's critical to the American public. So th there's obviously a lot of dispute about that growth number, particularly with this drag from the debt that that, that growth can be achieved and one of your predecessors obviously a Democrat Larry Summers had some some tough uh, words about that uh, those growth assumptions he said I'm not aware of so irresponsible an estimate coming from a Treasury secretary in the last 50 years what's your response uh, Larry has been quite outspoken as a previous Secretary Treasury. I'd say we have full transparency on the numbers. We have economists that come out. Most of them agree with us. The break-even is 35 basis points for us to have break-even. And I would just comment on the Obama administration, they were projecting 4% and higher GDP. So I find it somewhat amusing now that we're projecting 3% that uh, all these people who projected higher are coming out and criticizing us.